Okay, for question number 11, we, we shall be using the calculator. And this is uh, the calculator. Uh, hi! <laughs> okay, alright, sorry. We are now moving to question number 11. This is Mr. Delicious, the traveling tutor and coach. And this is, uh, we are having the uh, grade 12 advanced mathematics. And we are now on question number 11, uh, paper 1. And I hope that all the grade 12 students are ready and make use of this term holiday in preparation for your national examination in October. Okay? Wherever you are, whoever you are, if you encounter this uh, mathematics uh, uh, tutorial and coaching, I hope that uh, you will watch my video tutorial and learn something from me. Okay? Let's make use of the technology to enhance more our mathematics skills even if you are not a mathematics uh, uh, advanced mathematics stream students it is so cool to learn uh, higher mathematics okay it, you don't have to underestimate yourself everyone has the ability to excel and to be very good at maths all you need to do is give it a try okay try try there's no harm in trying Okay, let's now proceed to question number 11. And this is our question number 11. And the question number 11 worth two marks is more on algebra, algebraic fraction. And when it comes to algebraic fraction, you could either uh, find the uh, LCD or once it is already presented like this, then all you need to do is you cross multiply and perform the operation and then later collect like terms for this one. Okay, so let's now erase this question number 10 and <coughs> move on to question number 11. And the question number 11 is on algebra. Uh, students, if you notice that uh, the every, every part of the paper one uh, covers the, the whole topic of your studies from grade 11 up to grade 12. So it's a random question. So... This, if this is a paper 2010, it would be nice also if you uh, try to work out the past exam papers. Uh, f apart from the notes that you have with you, uh, it's best that you will try out everything because uh, the more you uh, practice, the more you prepare yourself for the, uh, the kind of format and setup of the uh, national examination. Okay. Now let's move on to question number 11. Let me rewrite the question number 11 here. Question number 11 is, you're asked to solve, solve for x. When it says solve for x, meaning that you are going to find the value of x. And this is the expression, which is in algebra, 2 over 2 minus x equals x plus 1 over 1 minus x. Okay? Is that clear now there? All right. So that's uh, weeks. <coughs> what would be the value of x here? If you are already given, when you are asked to solve for x, meaning that you are asked to find the value of x. When Once you are given an expression like this in an algebraic expression, and it is equal, uh, equated both sides ah, that's very easy all you need to do is you cross multiply cross multiply so this would be 2 times this that is 2 open bracket 1 minus x close bracket equals this one as well since it is a binomial so I'm writing 2 minus x close bracket multiplied by another binomial x plus 1 okay so in order for us to collect like terms and find the value of x, you have to remove the brackets. So let's uh, use the multiplicative. We have 2 times uh, two times 1 is 2. 2 times negative, one, uh, negative x is negative 2x. Okay, so we are now clear on the left side uh, part of the equation. So over here, this is binomial times binomial. So 2 times x 
is equal to 2x. 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. Negative x times positive x is negative x squared. Negative x times uh, positive 1 is negative x. Okay? So we are now clear in our right side and we are now ready to uh, collect like terms. So first is, uh, leave this uh, left side first, 2 minus 2x equals, let us first simplify the right side part of the equation. So by collecting like terms. So we have the like terms here are the 2x and the x. So that means that this will become, rearranging it, negative uh, x squared, 2x minus 1x, 2x minus 1x, so that would be simply positive 1x or simply x, okay? 2 minus 1 is 1. 1x or positive 1x, carry the positive sign. And then the, our constant plus 2. Okay, so after this, <coughs> we collect like terms. We are trying, we will now move this uh, expression here, 2 minus 2x, to the other side of the equation, to the right side, so that we collect like terms. So when we move it out, this will now become 0 is equal to negative x squared plus x. When you move the negative 2x to the other side of the equation, this will become positive 2x. Okay? And then plus 2. <coughs> when you move the positive 2 constant to the other side of the equation, it will become minus 2. So let's have it here now. 0 is equal to, collect like terms. This one doesn't have common, so negative x squared rewritten. Plus 1x plus 2x. So 1x plus 2x is equal to positive 3x. Okay? And then, Positive 2 minus 2, it's just like 2 minus 2 is cancel. Okay, that is now 0. So you don't need to write 0 because it is uh, not significant anymore over here. Okay, now we have this expression. And this expression, uh, we can find the value of x by first getting the factor. So look, let's have this one. Uh, negative x squared plus 3x, the common factor that we can put it outside is uh, x. Okay, 1x here and then 1x there. So we have 0 is equal to uh, <coughs> negative x, open bracket, negative x, divided by negative x, equals positive. Negative x squared divided by negative x is positive x. Now take note, why did I decide to have negative x here outside uh, instead of positive? Okay, so I decided to make negative x here so that I could have over here as x as positive uh, sign is positive, okay? So next one, positive 3x divided by negative 3. So positive divided by negative is negative. 3 divide, 3x divided by 1x is 3, okay? So the value now, therefore, is 0 equals, 0 equals negative x, so we, that, that's the first value, okay? And the second value is, the second value is uh, 0 equals x minus 3. Therefore, therefore, 
To get the value of x, we move the negative sign, negative 3 to the other side of the equation, and it becomes negative 3, move to the other side, x therefore is equal to positive 3, okay? Now take note, when it comes to quadratic equation, solving a quadratic equation, we actually expect two possible answers. But then over here, our first value of x is 0. It does not or it will not uh, justify the equation. When we substitute the value of 0 and also its negative sign. And therefore, x is equal to positive 3. And that, that's our value here. x is equal to 3 for uh, this uh, given uh, question number 11. Now, if you still have time in your national examination, you can actually substitute this value of x is equal to 3 to the equation, or to the expression or equation. And after substituting, you make sure that both sides of the equation satisfies the value. So when you substitute this x is equal to 3 over here, it must also be the same. So let's try and check it here x is equal to 3. So this is 3. So 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So therefore, this part here is negative 2. Positive 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. <coughs> okay? That's the value of the left side of the equation. If x is equal to 3, so this will be 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay? 1 minus 3 is equal to uh, negative 2. Positive 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So this value and that value, they are equal. Therefore, we are correct that the value of x is equal to positive 3. Okay? So this will give you three, uh, two marks for part B. If you show this working out in your national examination uh, answer sheet. Okay? So have a look at the, how we work it out, advanced mathematics students uh, in Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, and around the world. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Time is up. Let's now. This is uh, question number 11, part B of paper one for the grade 12 is on uh, algebra. Okay. So this is Mr. Delicious. I'll see you again in uh, question number 12. Bye for now. Tata. -ta.